Hello Virgos, this is your X reading for the 7th through the 13th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Mm, a lot of you are feeling very confident. Um, I, I feel like you guys are wanting to start over. Okay. Maybe a new business venture that you guys are wanting to embark on, but definitely, you know, wanting to see some change in your life for the better, I feel. Ending old habits, um, situations that are just not bringing you happiness, I feel. Okay? What's going on is that you guys are probably keeping this secret from somebody. Okay? Not really talking a whole lot right now. Just kind of like, you know, just playing things over in your head, planning, strategizing, things of that nature, but not speaking a whole lot, okay? Using your intuition. Your intuition, I feel like, is on point right now, okay? Let's see what's going on with your ex. I feel like this person is, like, wishy-washy, okay? Very indecisive. Probably a little sneaky is how you're feeling about them. Um, they're a little off balance, not really knowing... Um, solidly what they need to do in their life I feel okay they may be financially strapped right now really not knowing you know what to do how to get how to get the money how how to save their money how to make their money um, I'm, I'm feeling like there's a little shakiness with um, with a job going on with them right now okay maybe they are you know not doing so well on their job um, maybe there's a th there's a threat of uh, maybe either being fired, laid off, something like that. Okay, let's see how you guys perceive your ex. How does Virgo perceive their ex? Maybe you feel like they're trying to, you know, they need some balance in their life. They need to get it together. You know, maybe they're argumentative. Let's see. Some of you feel like this person is um, like they've moved away. Okay. Um, but I, I think you, you, you're feeling like this person is probably communicating with someone. Maybe they're dating someone, traveling with somebody, um, swooning somebody, laying it on thick. Okay. And for some of you, this person is probably has been trying to contact you and um, you're not accepting it. <laughs> like they may be trying to call you and you look at the phone going, eh, nope, not today. You know, that sort of thing. But um, definitely, you know, you feel like they are all over the place. Like they're talking to this one, they're talking to that one, they're trying to call you, they're going through their black book, they're doing this and they're doing that. It's like, you know, you feel like they're really not that stable, okay? Talking to whoever will listen, basically. Okay? But you're not at this point. Just not listening to it. Let's see what your ex's perception of you is. What is Virgo's ex perception of them? That you're blocking them. You're not um, going to give in. Um, they feel like you're their soulmate. That you are just not accepting anything that they have to say or offer here. That you're moving away. That you are deciding that's what's best for you. It's for you to leave this behind. And possibly that you guys are moving on with somebody else. Okay? Um, and and they're, feeling, they're feeling very um, unstable about that. And they don't want you to go. Because they really feel like you guys are moving on. That you're spending your time with someone else here. Hmm. Okay? So let's see what your feelings are about getting back together with this person. This should be interesting. <laughs> we have justice there. <clears throat> you're thinking about it, I feel. Maybe you're attracted to this person. Maybe you are dealing with a Sagittarius here. Hmm. I think you are willing to, you know, give some time to the situation. I think whatever they give you is what you'll give them. I don't think you're willing to give any more or any less, but I think that if they come, you know, with something that you feel like, you know, it, it's worth it, I think you definitely would. 
but I think you're going to have to see some progress in them. This is what I'm getting from you guys. Let's see what this is on the bottom of Jack. Yeah. Progress. Growth. Here. You know. You, you want them to have their shit together is what I'm getting. Okay. So, let's see how your ex feels about getting back together. How does Virgo's ex feel about getting back together here? Hmm. The tower. Huh. This is breaking down of, you know, a foundation here. Awakening. You know, I feel like this person probably would do just about anything um, to get back together with you guys. That's what I'm feeling. I think they would do just about anything to get back together because they really, they really do not want to let this go. Hmm. And then for some of them, it's like, um, I feel a level of unstableness here is what I'm getting from this because, um, You guys are already exes. So I'm thinking, you know, they feel like you need to, there's something that you need to change. There's something that you need to look at in yourself. Um, there's something that you are doing that's not working, that's not, you know, bringing this relationship back together. Like you're hindering it, is what I'm getting from this. Because they see that, you know, they want to be happy with you. They want to have this commitment with you. They want to be married to you, even for some of you. Okay. But I get that they depend on you a lot. They depend on you a lot for um, their support. Okay. They depend on you a lot to build them up. And so they're basically like... Um, they're not doing that well, I don't feel, that you guys are not together, okay? And then for others of you, uh, this person has dead set in their mind that, you know, it's broken, it's done, it's over. But at the same time, we see them here, you know, not wanting you to move on. It's like they're really unsure, they're really unstable. And I feel like they whatever happened between the two of you when you guys broke up, it kind of threw them off financially too. So they're like trying to build themselves back up. But at the same time, it's like they want to be with you. They don't want you to move on. But yet still they feel like, okay, it's a done deal. It's over with. It's too broken. You know, that sort of thing. You know, you've got a couple of different situations here going on. Let's see how you guys can help bring this back together. How can Virgo help to bring this back together? Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. I don't know why I get this feeling need, this person needs for you to like really be supportive and take care of them. They lean on you a lot. Um, I, I think it's for I think it's for you to let down your ego because these swords are all thoughts. You know, thinking about what somebody else has done. So there's a need for you to kind of, you know, let that go and kind of take a self inventory okay deciding to let certain things go okay because because we all have like you know our own input in situations we all have our own you know things that we have done so you know I, I think this is like more so kind of taking responsibility for yourself um, you know not not totally like disregarding what somebody else has done or what they have done but also know that you know we all have an input you know so yeah but i do think i thought i saw the empress under there and i did okay i, I do think that you guys are like a support system for this person financially um emotionally i feel like you guys are everything for this person I, mm. But anyway, let's see how can they increase the chances 
of you guys getting back together. And as I split it, there's a Ten of Swords again. This is all about ego. You know, placing blame somewhere else, really not accepting blame for um, yourself. Judgment there, looking in the mirror at yourself. Okay. So I think you guys are kind of like on the same page here. Um, there we see Seven of Cups, this confusion. Okay. This confusion. I think this person needs to be clear about their emotions, about their actions. I feel like they're wishy-washy. You know, they don't want you to move away. They don't want you to move on with someone else. But at the same time, it's like, you know, they feel like it's over with. It's done. It's too broken or whatever. Like, um, this is like drama king or drama queen status right here they've got going on, okay? Um, so it's, it's for them to like work out their own emotional instability, I feel. Okay, there we see the page of cups under here, under the bottom of their deck. The energy is such that this person, um, I, I think they overreact, I think they're overly emotional. Doesn't mean that they are like, you know, they exhibit good emotions, but they may be like, they get angry easily or, um, you know, throw accusations around even. I think they need to like calm it down a little bit, kind of like, you know, address their own emotional um, instability is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so let's see what is the potential outcome for you guys. What is the potential outcome for Virgo and their ex? The potential outcome here. Judgment. Mm. Judgment. A decision to be made. This is either bringing something back or letting it go. Taking a look in the mirror here at yourself. Can you live with yourself and the decisions that you make? You know, that, that's what judgment is all about. So it could be, you know, different situations here. Both of you may take a look at yourself and, and do the necessary adjustments. Or you guys may decide that, you know what, this is done, this is over with, and move on. Um, we see the tower here. We see the ten of swords here. And judgment is here. You know, all of these are endings. The only thing is, judgment is like a revitalization, bringing something back from the dead, okay? So there is a potential here to bring this back, okay? All right, guys, so I have Scorpio, Gemini here, Taurus energy, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Pisces energy. I will be speaking with you guys soon.